Hot 107. Now my name is Incognito. I'm against this DJ Misses. DJ Misses, you know the Falcons got a game on Sunday. They sure do. We got one of the players here. <laughs> Pastor Troy, what up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> the Georgia governor in the building. Hey, what up, yo, Detroit? Man, we going all the way up, man. What's happening, Incognito? Glad to be over here in the building, baby. Posted on the corner. Yeah, so, that's right. Man. What's all happening? Right, sneaker ball getting ready to go up. Man, we going crazy, man. It's going to be real dope, man. Much love to ATL. How y'all stood up, man? The event sold out. It's crazy, man. It's in the stage, man. They got a couple tickets at the uh, box office that they're going to release tomorrow. So if you need some last-minute tickets, man, I hope you get down there and grab them. But much love to ATL and how y'all stood up for us, man. We honoring Kilo Ali, man, doing a tribute for Kilo Ali for 35 years of service. Mm -hmm. We honoring uh, Crime Mob for their 20 years of uh, since they dropped Nook of You Buck, man. Just celebrating people while they're here, man. Let them have a good time. Yes. That's fire. What can the fans expect when they push up the center stage? Oh, you already know the pass going to have that thing rocking, man. I hope y'all <laughs> have some gear on, man. A lot of people, man, excited to uh, put on the dresses and put on the suits and stuff with the sneakers, man. Mm -hmm. So something grown to do, man. It's Scorpio season, so we're going to have some fun. Now, it. Pastor, we like to see you with it on all the time. You what know kind it. of sneakers you wearing? Oh, right? you know, man. So the event sponsored by Maury, man. I've been uh, picked up as a brand ambassador for the shoe company Maury, man. Okay, you know I've been wearing them Gators for, yep. since Gators yeah. been Gators. You feel me, man? So I got something nice for them breaking out tomorrow night. There it is. That's I know you stay in that studio. New album on the way. Oh, yeah, man. I stay tuned to the channel. I man. love What's it. What's this I love new it. Detroit album like? Hey, man, dog, you know what? I'm calling it Pastor's Appreciation, man. Mm -hmm. You know, man, it's, it's crazy, bro. This is going to be the first time I dropped since my father passed. Mm -hmm. And I've been sitting on the music for a while, man. Not, you know, just listening to it. But, like, I was like, man, I don't want to hear this every day. And I don't want to talk about it, man. Mm -hmm. It's just so. Release. You release. know what I mean? It was just so. Uh, it's so real. Yeah. You know what I mean, man? I'm, I don't want to hear no disrespect. I don't want to hear nothing, man. This some, this some true feel. It was almost just for me, music for me to get through. But I started thinking about some of my other friends, man, and uh, some of these people, parents transitioning and stuff, man. I was like, maybe I do need to pass this out, man. It might help somebody else get through the situation, man. So y'all be looking for it, man. Pass the appreciation. More therapeutic for you? Mm -hmm. Man, it really was, man. What's so crazy about it, man? Probably one of the lead tracks, uh... I actually recorded on the day of his passing, man. Went, you know, went back to the studio, man, and the thoughts and everything were just so fresh and so real and true. It was just a beautiful salute, man. It's one of the baddest songs I probably have ever made. So I know you want to put this out there because it might help other people, but were you second guessing, kind of putting your diary out there on what you? And feel? that's what it really was, baby. It, it really was like that, man. Um, not that nothing that I was ashamed of or anything like that, but. Now I want to hear the, uh, people posting and talking about it every day, right. man. You know what I mean? I really just take it and go <laughs> yeah, and listen to it and be done. Stop messing with me about it. So it's cool, man. Hopefully, uh, you know, just getting to a, um, to a place where my dad probably, you know what, man? My dad passed. It's so sensitive to me, incognito. I don't even remember the date. I don't even want to. It was the worst day of my life. You feel mm -hmm. me? I know it was probably about three years ago now. You know what I mean? But with that being said, I'm happy that I finally had the strength to be able to share these things and talk about it and still smile about it and laugh, man. My dad helped a lot of people, man. He was Pastor Troy. So mm -hmm. to still be here representing Pastor Troy today is a beautiful thing. Sure Perfect is. album title, Pastor's Appreciation. Yeah, yeah man, for that's sure. That's the one. Man, you know I cry to you before I lie to you, so I got to <laughs> go to my favorites on my uh, <laughs> Instagram right now. You know, they get on, not on Instagram, on your iTunes, they yeah. go like, these are your favorite tracks right now. Uh huh. So uh, right here, what's that one right there off that album? You see that one at the bottom? What that say? Where, where we at? Where we at? Right there. Rolling Stone? Where? Oh, Rolling Stone, what that say? Keep on moving. You love that, man. Man, that's like one of my ones. So really? listening to that, keep on moving in there. You start to say, never went platinum, never, never went gold. gold. Thank the Lord, I never sold my soul. Yeah. Man, Trey, why do you keep going so yeah, hard, bro? Man, yeah. you know what, man? Because this is something that I set out to do, man, and really, as a career, man, I didn't I want to be a one-hit wonder. I want to be somebody that was going to last a long time. This is how I take care of my kids. This is how I bought my studio. This is how I bought my whips and everything, mm -hmm. man. If you take it serious... Serious things will happen from it, you know what I mean? And that's just how I applied myself to the rap game. I wanted to be a professional, you know what I mean, man? 25 years later, a lot of keys and properties like a custodian. Come on, I think, I, I think I done did that. Yeah, I think I done did a pretty good job. Man, what's your Mount Rushmore of your albums that you put out? Man, my Mount Rushmore, number one, would always be uh, No More Playing GA. Yes. Without No More Playing GA, it probably wouldn't have been a part two. Yes. Uh, number two, I got to say vice versa. Because so many people 
have came to me with their stories of how much it helped them get through and stuff like that, man. It's just a beautiful thing to have music that people come back and share with you like that. Number three, I would say, uh, help me Rhonda. Rhonda, man, it's the craziest song, man. A lot of girls jumped off the porch to Rhonda. This was 1998 when I dropped this song, man. So this was the same time as Trina and You Don't Know Now. Mm -hmm. And I came with this Help Me Rhonda joint, man. That's a real... Negro spiritual. Yeah, man. Country <laughs> classic, man. It's so dope. I actually been writing on a, or working on a screenplay around that song. You know, it's really like a whole story, man, the Help Me Rhonda thing, man. We're going to have that get together for Valentine. That's fire. Yeah. So do you got any other dreams you want to accomplish? You said you're going with the screenplay, but yeah. what other dreams does Pastor Troy have? Um, some more dreams I have. Um, you know, I do a lot of independent movies and a lot of stuff in the independent place, but I really would love to be on the big screen in a real production, man, because mm -hmm. I got those skills like that, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Growing up in the church like that, man, everybody else, Easter Speech was a, a block. My Easter Speech was six pages. Come you know what I mean? So... <laughs> Just to be able to use this expertise, man, stuff that I learned as a kid, man. I'm looking forward to that. I'm still pursuing. That's man. fire. That's we, fire. We got Pastor Troy plus on the corner with George Trilly and Cotton, and DJ Man. This is the reason I got George on my own. I know that's right. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> this is the reason we stood up for the yeah, state, man. man. We had that. Yeah. We had P. Troy. Yeah. Man, Troy, um, what's like one of your favorite movies, man? If you could go act in, what movie would you go act in? If I could go act in a movie, I would go act in Glory. Glory with Denzel Washington, man, showing the story of the 54th Regiment of Massachusetts, the first black soldiers they were able to fight mm -hmm. during the Civil War. I just know that that was a beautiful thing, man. I know that my great, 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 great grandfather was probably one of the ones that volunteered for the right to give us this day to do the things that we do, man. So I appreciate stuff like that. That's fire. So being in this game 25 years, okay, yeah, I know yeah. you done seen a lot of things come and go. Mm -hmm. What is something in this industry, if you could change, what would you change? Um, Right now, if I could change something, it would be uh, I'll make it more difficult to, difficult to attain the music. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, man, I heard somebody say uh, music was free. I, I wanted to cry. I, I definitely started thinking of some other things to do. You know right. what I mean? Like, what? Music free? Mm -hmm. Dang, man. I, that's rough. It's like the excitement of somebody dropping it Man, song. dog. So when I was, when, you know, coming up in this thing, man, 98, 99, 2000, stuff like that, being independent, man, we were selling our CDs, man. We were getting $7 per CD, mm -hmm. selling 50,000, 60,000 CDs and doing it again in three or four months mm -hmm. and doing it again in three or four months. And all this money coming straight to us, man, 24, 25 years old. And people start giving away mixtapes. I'm like, what are y'all <laughs> doing? You giving away what? Right. You know, man, so I wish, um, I just wish people would have pres preserved it more because we were making a way for ourselves independently with this music, man. You know what I mean, man? I Definitely. want to go back uh, to the beginning of the time. I got two questions. The first one is, bro, uh, what was that studio session like when you recorded No More Playing GA? Man, dog, what was so crazy about it, No More Playing GA is the title of the song, right? Mm -hmm. I had rapped it, and I was listening to it. Man, this on cassette tapes. I'm taking it around, letting people listen to it, listen to it. Everybody's like, man, that's cool, that's cool. The last day when we were mixing and mastering it, listening to it, listening to it, I said, man, give me one more track. And that's when I went in there and put the We Ready on top of it. That was the last thing I did. And it set the whole. That set the whole thing song. Oh, yeah, man. man. <laughs> so the original version they had. It didn't have that. It was just, but what would you say? Ain't no more playing GA. Yeah, it wasn't no We Ready on it. While I'm listening to it, the last passes, man, when we about to press the CD up, man, I said, man, give me one more track. Let me go in the booth. I went in the booth, man, and crunk that We Ready up. The best thing I ever did. So That's fire! I'm so glad I went back in there. I don't know what to do. We ready. Yeah, man. That's so the song off. What is a lesson that you've learned lately? Uh, a recent lesson that I've learned um, is to make people make people respect you. Make people respect you in the in the place of I'm not just no rapper. <laughs> you feel me, man, dog? You know what I mean? Everybody got obligations. Everybody got things to do. Mm -hmm. Respect it. This ain't nothing somebody just playing around to do. A lot of people have bad um, perceptions of what rap artists are, mm -hmm. but 
I'm I'm handling business, man. I've been doing this for a long time. You know what right. I mean, man? So just making people understand that, man, it's all good. And they learn quickly. Yes. Mm. Can you take me back to your very first show? You remember yeah, what, how much they paid you for? Man, like, dog, you know what? My first gig, I did my album release party down in Augusta, Georgia when I was just coming up. It was my 21st birthday party, man. Mm. And the whole city came out, man. It was at Garden City. Uh, convention center. I never forget it, man, because we went crazy, and that's when the music. Uh, we had some music execs come down there to the birthday party, and that's ultimately when I started getting that major attention and notoriety. And we went from there, Augusta, Georgia. That's so dope, man. Just to, you know, I'm rapping in college down at Payne College in Augusta. My homeboy hit me rapping. Uh, he hit me. I finished my little verse. He like Pastor Troy. I said, man, why you call me that? He was like, uh. It sound like you're a Southern preacher when you be rapping. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, that's a tight name. I got to ask my daddy, can I use it? <laughs> <laughs> this dude didn't even know my dad was a preacher. Wow. He called me Pastor Troy. I was like, what I got me a like? rap name. I ain't have a, My dad was like, uh, I was like, Dad, I ain't going back to school. I'm about to be a professional rapper. He like, are you crazy? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, he sit up there. He, I was like, Dad, man, you know, I'm 20 years old. Uh, I can go back to school. I can't go back to being 20. He like, well, you got a point there. He like, son, I told you you're going to be a garbage man. Be the best garbage man you can be. You can be a rapper. Be the best rapper you can be. I said, thanks. I said, dad, one more thing. What? My rap name, Pastor Troy. What did you try to do to us, <laughs> man? What are you doing? <laughs> you know? But it ended up being such a blessing. We talking about him now. We talking about Pastor Troy right now. Right. You feel me, man? Okay. It's gone forevermore. We here. That's beautiful. Yeah. We ready. We ready. <laughs> yeah. so, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, if I had a superpower, it would be to make some multiple Pastor Troy so I can be in some different places at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't get the job done. I'm yeah, tired today. clone Pastor Troy. <laughs> the, the Falcons uh, are playing the Cowboys this yeah. Sunday. Yeah. What's what your prediction? How we looking this season? Man, dog, we looking really good, man. Much love to Kirk Cousin. Kirk, yeah. my cousin, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, uh, shout out to the whole Dirty Bird Nest. You know, I got a section in the stadium, yeah. man. We about a thousand deep of the most rowdy Falcons fans in Atlanta, Georgia, man. It's always crunk. We we always got the crowd with us, man. We playing all the music, all the ATL. We swag surfing. It's just a real dope experience, man. We've been coming in like first place in fan experience across the NFL. Ain't no stadiums like that Mercedes Benz Stadium, man. Mm, so I'm true. just glad that they put me in this position and we, and we winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been doing this for four years. We ain't been winning the whole four, but this year been a change. It's, it's different. Yeah, we rolled through. it out. We, we rolled it through the storm. Right? <laughs> Let's do it. We ready. Pastor Troy is at a sneaker ball sold out. Uh, more tickets coming out tomorrow at the yeah, box yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, at the box office, man. You know, man, get there early. I think they start selling the uh, the box office open at like 3 p.m. Box office open at 3 p.m. They are releasing the last of the seats. Much love to ATL. How y'all stand up? I can't wait to see everybody dressed and impressed and kicking it. It's going to be crazy. you got... Uh, Raheem the Dream on this show. Man, Raheem the Dream. I got Case. I got DJ Taz. I got the Shop Boys. My boy Mook B. I got, uh, of course, your boy Pastor going to be rocking it. Do what I do. Right. Um, I know Kilo. With the whole tribute to Kilo going to be dope, man. Yeah. Some of these ATL legends going to be performing for him. His yeah. classics, man. You just sit back and enjoy yourself. It's yeah. going to be real dope. That's, That's fire. fire, man. That's for sure. super fire. Man, P. Troy is here. We're going to celebrate you inside this 5 o'clock mix. All right. Go up with DJ Miss. We can do a little car karaoke. Have some I'm fun. with it. I'm with it, man. Much love, <laughs> ATL. Everybody be safe. Happy Halloween. Let's kick it.